एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर नाइन क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी स्पेयर ऑफ मास ट्वेंटी के जी सस्पेंडेड बाई मिटल वायर ऑफ अनस्ट्रेस लेंथ फोर मीटर एंड डायमीटर वन मिलीमीटर वेन इन इक्म देर इज ए क्लियर गैप ऑफ टू मिलीमीटर बिटवीन द स्पेयर एंड द फ्लोर द स्पेयर इज जेंटली पुस्ट असाइड सो दैट द वायर मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा विद वर्टिकल एंड इज रिलीज फाइंड द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा सो दैट द स्पेयर डज नॉट रब द फ्लोर Initially, when the sphere is in equilibrium, there is two millimeter gap with the floor. When the sphere is pulled aside and released, the gap no longer remains. That means the wire is elongated by extra two millimeter when the sphere comes moving to the lowest position. Let us calculate this extra strain and the extra stress causing this strain first. We know that strain is given by delta L divided by L. Please note that the length of the wire at equilibrium will be slightly more than four meter as wire is being pulled by weight of the sphere. But since Young's modulus of the metal is very large, the elongation of the wire will be small, and we can ignore that. So the strain will be two millimeter divided by four meter. That is two into ten to the power minus three divided by four, which comes out to be five into ten to the power minus four. Now Young's modulus y is stress by strain. Therefore, stress is equal to y into strain, which implies stress is equal to two into ten to the power eleven into five into ten. To the power minus four, which on calculation gives ten to the power eight newton per meter square. The cross section area of wire is given by pi r square. Since the diameter of wire is one millimeter, its radius will be zero point five millimeter. That is zero point five into ten to the power minus three meter. Thus, the area becomes three point one four into zero point five into ten to the power minus three whole square, which on calculation comes out to be seven point eight five into ten to the power minus seven meter square. Now, as we know that stress is given by force by area, force is stress into area. Putting the values, we get force is equal to 10 to the power 8 into 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 7, which on calculation comes out to be 78.5 newtons. Now, let us move the sphere aside and let it come to the lowest point. When it passes through the lowest point, it will have some speed. Let us look at the free body diagram of the sphere at that point. The forces acting on it are. Tension applied by the wire in upward direction, gravitational force mg in downward direction, and a centrifugal force mv square by L in downward direction. Note that the radius here too shall be slightly more than the original length of the wire, but we can ignore the elongation experienced by the wire as they will be very small when compared with its actual length. Balancing the forces in vertical direction, we get T is equal to mg plus mv square by L. When the sphere was at rest at the lowest position. The force mg was still acting then, so the extra force applied to the sphere due to motion is only the centrifugal force, and hence increase in the tension of the string is mv square by L. We have calculated the extra stretching force experienced by the wire to be 78.5 newtons. Therefore, mv square by L must be equal to 78.5 newton. Now let us look at the energies involved. When the sphere was pulled aside by theta, its vertical distance from the point of suspension was L cos theta. When it descends down to the lowest position, its distance from the point of suspension is approximately L, that is 4 meters. Therefore, the sphere has descended by L minus L cos theta, that is L into 1 minus cos theta. So its kinetic energy, half mv square, must be equal to mg L into 1 minus cos theta. Taking 2 to RHS and L to LHS, we get mv square by L is equal to 2 mg into 1 minus cos theta. Putting the calculated value of mv square by L, that is 78.5 newton, mass of the sphere is 20 kg, and acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square, we get 78.5 is equal to 400 into 1 minus cos theta, which gives 1 minus cos theta is equal to 0.196. Which implies cos theta is equal to 0.804. This gives theta approximately 36.4 degrees. That is our answer. In order to request solution of any question of H C Verma, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.